Zara, <laughs> look, okay, take all my money, take all of it. What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Mo, back with another video, and today we are doing a Zara haul. Now, I did one of these probably like two months ago when they had their like end of the summer sale, but now you know we're transitioning into fall and winter which is the best time to dress because you can layer you can be more creative you can be more expressive and zara you know just gives all those options to you makes them easier so i went to zara a couple times fit my coin and i'm going to be showing you guys what i got and trying it on but before we get into that make sure you like you comment subscribe push that notification bell so you can know when i upload follow me on my instagrams they'll be up here and without further ado, baby, let's just get into these clothes. Let's do it. So I'll start with the dresses. The first dress that I got is, I mean, you guys will see in the try-on portion, but it is just a nude um, creamish color denim structured dress. It does remind me of the Rihanna Fenty one. It just doesn't have like the slits on the side. It's the same type of like cinched at the waist baggy on the sleeves you know what i mean type of deal that's one thing i like about zara is that it gains inspiration from designers makes it at an affordable price but it's still like higher quality and it's not like an exact dupe or an exact replica i don't know i just don't like wearing designer pieces that are supposed to look exactly like something i just kind of like inspira inspired 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 designer pieces so zara really captures that and this dress y'all i have some nude or like uh, actually some cream tiny boots Whew. you can even wear it with heels i just feel like tiny boots it's appropriate for fall and winter it's gonna look the best with this so yeah i got this in a size small i did try the extra small on and him baby it was not fitting over this ass you know what i'm saying so i had to go up a size but yeah this is the first thing that i got this was i still have not worn it yet 49.90 50 bucks which i, I feel like for the quality i know this is a staple in my wardrobe it was worth the price to me the second dress that i got is this sage green slash army green it's kind of the same style as the denim dress that i just showed except this is faux leather um i got this one in a size extra small because it wasn't as structured it was a little more loose fitting it is kind of like pushing to the point where if i bend over my ass cheeks are gonna show but it's okay i just i'm just real careful with it i've already worn it i styled it on my instagram i'll insert a picture right here i'll still try it on for you guys but yeah same type style cinches at the waist and the inside is really nice it's like a kind of like a suede um but i think i don't know if i mentioned that it was the same price as the other one 49.90 and i don't know i just love this like zara <laughs> look okay take all my money take all of it the third piece and the final dress that I picked up is just this um, long actual turtleneck. It's not a mock neck as you can see. Turtleneck is pretty long dress and it's a midi dress so it comes like right past my knees. I honestly probably won't try this on for you guys. I will start insert a picture of what the model looks. I mean, it, it's girl. It's a basic. I just don't want to mess up my hair. I'm about to go to dinner after this. I don't have time for all that. Okay. It's literally just a basic midi dress um, in this taupe color. They have it in numerous colors. I just felt like this was the one that looked the best with my skin tone. It's very fallish. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I got this in a size small, a small, medium, large. This was $17.90, which I feel like is a great price point for such a staple dress. And it's good quality. Like, it's not something that's going to be see-through. It's double lined. It's knitted, ribbed. I mean, really nice flattering neck. Like, what else could you ask for for under $20? Yes, ma'am. Those are you plugged. So moving on to pants. So I got these knitted leggings. I mean, they're kind of like leggings slash pants. I don't really know the silver lining between the two. I really, really like these. They're very nice quality. I think they were $29.90. I got them in a size small honestly i be stretching these every time i put them on like you know when you can hear the seam like cracking i hear that with this 
So I probably could have got a medium on the cool, but then it would have been too big on my waist. So I just settled for the small. Um, but at the bottom, they have the slits on the side, which are really, really in right now. You know what I mean? It's a very, very, very fashion forward, you know, very trendy. I just felt like I was gonna get a lot of use out of this. This would be really nice with like a cream neck sweater over the top with some booties on. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, just got these as a staple pair of pants. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of what they were called. The next pair of pants that I got are pretty similar to the black ones, same material. Um, $39.90, I got them in a size small. Uh, once again, with Zara with this quality, like it's affordable, but it's quality. When you put it on, it does not look cheap. And I cannot stand that. Like with some of these places, you know, just online shopping, you'll get it in the mail and it will just be looking cheap. And you can tell in the picture too that it's even cheap. So yeah, $29.90, except these are a little diff. Oops, sorry. These are a little different. Um, they have like a seam in the middle of the pant and then at the bottom it splits in the front as opposed to the side which i think is really cute as well because if you have some like nice boots or some heels that are like strapped or something it will actually show the detail of them i will say though i like the style of the other ones better when it comes to the waistband because these are a little bit too baggy like on the crotch area like they fit everywhere else nice i might have to get them taken in i don't know how that would work with this type of material i've usually only gotten jeans taken in so i'm sure they can make it work but the fit of the other ones are better they're not terrible but like they're still staying in my closet they are not being returned so great purchase here another item that i picked up is this cream suede trench coat now when i saw this i was like i just know because you know those jackets that are like 179.90 200 ish around that if you shop at zara a lot you kind of know what their price points are i picked it up and i was like i just know it's gonna be 200 dollars because girl the quality of this is superb okay chef kiss it looks very very expensive damn near designer to me anyways it looks like when i'm wearing this i have money i picked it up yeah it was only 79.90 i mean to y'all maybe that's still expensive for a coat i don't know but 80 dollars for this quality baby steal okay i got this in an extra small because i am petite i like i'm petite at top i'm pretty tall i'm five six five seven i don't know my exact height it's been a while since i've been measured but i'm around that but i'm still petite at top i don't have any titties you know what i'm saying i got small arms like so I pretty much need an extra small. I don't like my stuff to be oversized unless that's the vibe of the fit. This wasn't giving me that. So I got an extra small. It has a black detailing for the buttons. And yeah, I mean, it's actually fairly warm too. So I don't know, y'all. If you, I'll link it down below. But if you see it in stores, look at it because this right here is my swag okay if i can get it in black if i can find it in black i'll probably purchase it because i know i'm going to wear this year after year after year after year like it's never gonna go out of style so yep pick this up definitely worth your girl's coin those are the only clothing pieces i got i didn't get that much clothes um i mean i got three dresses two pair of pants and a jacket i didn't really see any tops that i was like oh i need that i just i haven't really seen any so <laughs> I didn't get any, but I did get some accessories and some food. So I got this purse. Um, it's just like a little mini crocodile slash like snake print purse. Super, super, super cute. It's in this like beige, very muted nude color. It doesn't have like that yellow tone. It's very neutral. I'm, I, you know, growing up or just like until recently, I just haven't really been like a big fan of purses. I never go shop for any never really crosses my mind but like as my style is changing i'll look at an outfit and be like damn this is so basic i'm like it needs a purse you know so i've been trying to like step my purse game up and zara once again has quality purses kind of replicas of designer vibes but at an affordable price so this was only like 30 bucks which i feel like is great just a mini purse fits my phone my money everything that i need okay it's gonna fit it so definitely worth it i they have it in black so honestly next time i go to zara i'm gonna pick it up because i just feel like it's a staple purse so yeah the next purse that i picked up is this quilted gunmetal chain 
strap the purse. This one is fairly big, as you can see in comparison to this one. Oop, it's getting it swinging. Um, it's a lot bigger in terms of like length. I just really like this. I don't know, it was, it was $50, so this one's a little bit higher in price, but it was worth it to me. I've worn it already, and it has a lot of room. You open it up, it has a little zipper right here. So yeah, like I said, I've been trying to step up my accessory game, and I just feel like this is like, I don't know. It just gives me like, period. <laughs> vibes you know what I mean just period that's that's what it gives me so yep pick that up all right so moving on to shoes I got these leather it's like a bone color I mean you know like Yeezy Kim Kardashian like all her skins are in that like bone color it's like a cream but it has like a grayish tint kind of too it's very neutral um and i got these in a size eight one thing i will say why after half sizes to zara not or after eight to zara not go up half sizes like what is the reason you guys stop at seven and a half i got an eight these fit perfectly typically i'm a size eight and a half in like most shoes most boots heels all of that but these fit great so that just annoys the hell out of me. For what? What is the reason? Okay, you guys are excluding some customers. Okay, losing out on money. But yeah, I just got these. They're pointed. I feel like they look very expensive, but they were only 70, I think. 69.90. I've already worn them. Which I need to wash my hands, cause bitch, I'm holding the bottom of it like it ain't been on piss, shit. You know, whatever else is on the, the gravel, the concrete. So, pick these up. I've already worn them once. Super comfortable. And they just look very classy to me. And of quality. So, love that for me. <laughs> y'all, I picked up some good ass pieces. I don't care what y'all say. It's probably like one of the best Zara hauls you don't watch. It's not that much, but it's quality over quantity, girl. Okay. Now, the last item that I got are or is this a pair of boots now if you guys watch my vlog which i'll link up here watch that after this okay i purchased these i was like at the store deciding if i wanted them because i saw these online like two months ago or so and i was like damn i just know those are fire this was before i had even seen them in person okay i've been looking for like a suede high knee boot and sorry, I had the perfect one. They are pricey though, okay? They're $169, $170, which is expensive to me, okay? I wish I could have paid the same price as the other ones, you know, $70, $80. But I was like, you know what? My wardrobe is changing. I'm just trying to invest in stuff that I know I'm gonna wear season to season, time after time. Basically, I justify the fucking purchase okay justified spending almost two hundred dollars on these boots mind you this zara stuff i got over time you know each little trip this was the last trip i took to zara the last trip i'm gonna take to zara for a while because it's been a lot of men okay and i like them because you can wear them like this or you can scrunch them i'll insert a picture like i don't know somewhere right here of how i initially wore them which was scrunched but i'm sure i'll wear them all the way up to my knee one time or a couple i don't know but i'm pretty pissed because i don't know if you guys can tell but the back of these right here i already got dirty i don't know how i got those dirty so i'm gonna youtube how to clean suede girl this better be real suede for 170 dollars i don't know it feels very heavy and thick it doesn't specify on the tag whether or not it was real but i'm gonna figure out how to clean it because nah we not finna do that so yeah these were the last item that i picked up. all right you guys so that is the end of my haul i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some inspiration spend your money along with me so i don't feel that bad about spending my coin at zara like that you know a little uncontrollable but it's all right it's okay right is what i gotta keep telling myself but yeah make sure you like you comment subscribe check out those other videos that i told you guys about and yeah i will see you guys oh follow me on instagram so you can know how i style all these but um yeah i'll see you guys next video deuces